the InDesign file. Thank you. All right, here we go. I'm going to start off with a double page spread. And I'm going to start on page two. Does anybody know why? Go ahead. Tell me that they, they can't, this mic cannot pick you up. So talk and I'll repeat your answer. Okay, does anybody know why I started on page two? Sonia. No. <clears throat> Nobody else know why I started on page two? No, because I can technically start on page 22. It doesn't matter. The reason why I'm choosing a even number is because the left side and right side. Now, here, let me explain this. If I did start on page one, a double page spread, look what happens. I want my pages to be together. Well, page one's there, page two's there. I don't want that. So when I go to document setup, I'm going to say start on page two, and then you'll notice that they're together because page remember page one always starts on the right hand side page two three four five left right left right so I'm starting on page two so I get my left and right so I have a double page spread okay does that make sense yeah okay so I'm gonna show you a cool little feature that InDesign has I'm gonna go to window and I am gonna go to scripts now under uh, application there are some samples and there's this really cool one that's called make grid all right now I'm gonna explain this if I have a big rectangle box for example and I click and drag it within the confines of the margins there what I'm gonna do is make grid now this is kind of cool I'm gonna tell the computer well if I wanted and this is where you kind of do the math with your group and said, all right, if we had seven rows of seven columns, how much, how much is that guy? Seven by 49. So I'm going to get 49 students on one page times that by two gives you this much, but also I'm going to deduct a few pictures for my candidates as well. And I'll explain this in a second. Uh, the point gutter is the space in between each mugshot. So I'm just going to press okay for now. And you're going to see that it made a grid. Okay. Now I chose seven by seven. Doesn't mean that's the correct answer. I just did that to show you. Okay. Let me start again. Now I'm going to press command Z and it's going to be a bad idea because it goes step by step. So I'm just going to delete and start over again. Make a big rectangle. Okay. Click the make grid. Now it's all based on your math mathematics and size. Um, if we agree as a group and a class collectively, then we all agree that it should be seven by seven. Okay. If not nine by nine, do my squares get smaller or bigger? If, if I make it nine by nine smaller. Okay. And the spacing in between could be adjusted as well. Now you're also going to indicate whether you want the person's name, uh, in multiple ways. If you look at other yearbooks, I want you guys to make the decision. Do we put the name underneath each picture or do we just allocate a section on the side, say this column here, and this is where the names will be? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Underneath the picture. What's more work? Underneath the picture is more work. So if you guys decide that, you understand that that's what you're going to do. It's just more work. You can individually place each person's name now you're probably wondering sir how do we get the names well I'm going to share this document with you guys uh, under Google Drive where for example please share the tasks of each group member you're doing page so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so. when you figure out in your group what pages you're going to do and really guys it doesn't matter who does the page trust me oh I want to do my friend it doesn't matter it's a random coincidence that whether you get your friend or not in there is it's up to you, like depending on the numbers. So just decide what page number you want. Page 90 and 91. That's my page. Okay. You might have to do three, two or three pages. Okay. 
And literally, you'll say, okay, so-and-so, you got names 1 through 100, for example. Okay? You would copy those names, and then you would paste them into each text box individually. So, any questions on the make grid thing? If you're happy with that layout, all you got to do is copy it. Oops, sorry. Command A. Holding the Alt key. And 